As Worlds has just finished and the new season has started, the first tournament, which is in Pittsburgh, and is the last tournament of Regulation D, is coming up very soon. So today I wanted to share what I think is broken and will win the tournament and how to use it. Firstly, I want to look at the World Championships results and share why my team is so good into the format right now. Uh, firstly, I'm going to share my team. So uh, what I think is going to win the Pittsburgh tournament is Sun. Now, the reason I say this is because when you look at all of the teams, they don't really have a way of either stopping Sun or pressuring Sun once I get up. For example, let's just say jump off plus Torkoal. It's a pretty good lead, right? When you have Torkoal and Overheat and Yawn, what you can do against the winning team is is you can just spam Yawn into stuff like Iron Hands, get Overheats off into the Moongus, and then just sleep out of their whole team. Now, they can go for Taunts, but our thing is, our jump up is actually faster, and you can always Leaf Storm the Urshifu. Then, in the back, you can go for something like Fluttermane or Chiyu or Gem Power Great Tusk, and then just sweep them. Because honestly, they don't, the only thing they have against something like a Fluttermane and Chiyu is their Iron Hands or their Landorus. But you can take all of... Well, I guess the Fighter Main can do a lot of damage, but if you run it... Well, I'm not running it super fast, but if you do run it fast, then you can always outspeed and just KO their Fighter Main. Uh, you also can always get up Tailwind. So the, pretty much the plan is you get your Yawns, you get your Sleep Powders off, um, you get Leaf Storms, and then you can just go for Tailwind, sack both of them, get Chiyu and Fluttermate in into the sun with a special attack boost and the Beads of Ruin. And literally, I've done the calcs and one-shots every single one of these Pokemon. So it's... I've done... I've also played against it many of times, and it just one-shots everything. Um, same with this team. And the other cool... I have a really, really cool tech. So if you look at Heatran, Heatran, it can be a bit annoying. It can be a bit annoying with um, Flash Fire for the... Uh, talk of. But the thing is, with um, Heatran, they're kind of forced to bring it, right? You're forced to bring Heatran into the Jump Life matchup because you don't really want to die to Torkoal, you don't want to die to Chiyu, and you can get rid of Sleep Powder, right, with um, Terra Grass. So you'd probably think, like, okay, Terra Grass is actually really good against this team. We can't really hit it other than Chen Pao. But when you look at their team against Chen Pao, they have many things like a Scarf Urshifu. Now, Scarf Urshifu isn't too bad because we do have Sun to stop their Surging Strikes, but it can be annoying when they have Fake Out Pressure and even Dazzling Gleam, Rocky Helmet, Ferrugraph. So it's not the best, but... We have a very cool tech, which is Worry Seed. Now, what Worry Seed does is it means, well, they can't go to sleep from Sleep Powder anymore, but when you Worried Seed them, they lose the Flash Fire ability, which means now your Chi Yu with Overheat always one-shots in Sun, and you can also go for Earth um, Overheats. You pretty much force the Terra always with Earth, Earth Power, so they're pretty much always going to Terra. You get the Worry Seed off, and then you can just one-shot them with Overheat. It's a really good tech, and... If I have to be honest, a lot of players don't even know what Warrior Seed does. Like, the only people... that have to be really, really top players to understand what it does. Because it's like, no one uses Warrior Seed. Like, no one. I mean, maybe it was used, like, in singles once, but it, it's not very good. So that's a super cool tech. Um, for every other team, like, same team, same team. Uh, against Trick Room, it's not too bad. You do have your Torkoal in Trick Room with Terra Grass, um, that, which is really, really good. You have a bunch and a bunch of pressure for when they're not in Trick Room. So if I go to their team, they pretty much have to get Trick Room up or they have to use Fluttermane. And the way they get Trick Room up is usually through Iron Hands. What you can do with my team is, well, there's a few combos. You can go for the Fluttermane, Chiyu, Terra Ghost, the Chiyu, and then use Fluttermane and pretty much sweep with like Dazzling Gleam. And, and you can go for Protects if you think you've got to die or something. Or you can go for Terra Ice, Ice Spinner, into their Fluttermane, which always picks it up and one-shots it, which is pretty good. Um, you can also get up Tailwind with Jump Bluff, go for Sleep Powders into their Mons, and since we have Cover Cloak, and I'm pretty sure they're always Terra Water, yep, their Iron Hands is always Terra Water, which means you can just Sleep out of them. Um, there is sometimes a problem in which they can just go for Lunar Blessings, but against their Cresselia, we can always go for Chiyu plus Fluttermane, and that does a lot and a lot of damage. The other thing is, with um, a combination like Fluttermane Chiyu, we're going to force their Terra really, really early. Which means Great Task can always KO their Ursaluna in the back, and Oko it with Close Combat, which is really, really strong. You can also do the same with um, Pressure with Terra Ice, Ice Spinner from Chen Pao, 
and yeah torkoal is also really good with overheat like you can go let's just say overheat they might want to earthquake you and you can overheat into something like a jump off or your great tusk and then get um torkoal away uh, you can also sack them on what you can do against a uh, ursaluna you can go for overheat sack them on then just bring it back in and then cow it the next turn so i think this team honestly has a pretty good matchup into trick room it is one of its more difficult matchups but yeah it's definitely not too hard uh, it has a really good matchup into Tailwind also, mainly due to our Great Tusk being super, super bulky. For example, well, this one is more of a balance type um, of a Tornadus, but what they do here is they have their Urshifu, they have their Fluttermane and their Rillaboom. And against their Rillaboom, we pretty much always force Terra with Chiyu and Torkoal. Then our Great Tusk can always pick it up with something like a Headlong Rush or an Earthquake. Uh, we can also go for sleep powers, so like Torko Jump Off is a really good lead, and also Jump Off can outspeed most of their Pokemon even when they're in Tailwind because of the plus boot, um, plus two boost from Chlorophyll. Um, like it outspeeds Urshifu, it outspeeds Tornadus, uh, it outspeeds uh, Heatran also, and we can do the same thing to the Heatran. We can force them to Terra because of Sleep Powder and stuff. Then we can go for Worry Seed and then just one-shot them with Overheat. Or even if we get Chiyu up and we have Tailwind, we can do the same. So it's really good It's for pressuring against this team. Um, AV Great Tusk can survive two Moon Blasts from a Choice Specs Flutter Main um, once you to go for Terra Water, which is crazy. So we have the bulk, we have the offense, and yeah, it's pretty good. It's even pretty good against Rain. Like, Rain... Once you get the sun up, it's pretty hard for them to position. Overheat does so much damage into their team. And you can even go for a sick tech with War Seed into your own Torkoal. And that means that no longer can you be put to sleep by the um, Amoongus. Uh, sadly, though, you have to note one thing is that War Seed doesn't work on Protosynthesis Mons. Though it will work on Chiyu and Chen Pao, so... You can always worry seed them if you think they're going to get put to sleep and you can't stop that from happening. So yeah, that's the team. I'm going to run maybe like two to three games and just show how it works. It's not the most high ladder. It's like 1600. But yeah, it, it's going to be pretty good. Okay, yeah, good, good, good. So this will be a really good practice into like one of the top teams with um, the Dragonite Chen Power. This is actually one of the Japanese teams that they've been doing really well with. And I think I can definitely beat it, especially with um, Great Task being so bulky. If we Terra Water, we can always just Oko a lot of them. Um, War Seed into one of our own monster stop. Um, the Amoongus is also pretty good. And the combination of Chiyu and Fatamain works also really, really well. I would... Uh, like we can accept open team sheets here. Um, I definitely would like to get Tailwind off. I think that would be pretty nice. Um, the other thing is we can probably force him to go for Extreme Speed into our Jump Off and then switch into Fluttermane. He might want to go for something into the Torko, which would be pretty interesting. We could also lead out Chen Pao here, which would be nice. Um, it's interesting. What I'm worried about is if we go Jump Off at Extreme Speed, he can double it up with Ice Spinner and catch the Fluttermane. I don't really want to lead Fluttermane plus Chiyu because if we do Terra Ghost, he can sucker punch us. Though, I mean, it's not the worst. I think the main thing is I do have Great Tusk here. I can probably lead Great Tusk and maybe force them to try and hit another Pokemon and just protect it. So maybe like a Fluttermane, protect the Fluttermane and then just try and carry them with like a Rock Slide and then we can Dazzle Gleam in the back. And then... Torkoal is really good here. I think I do need Torkoal. That can stop the Surgeon Strikes from um, Urshifu, which only has Surgeon Strikes and Aqua Jet from ever becoming a problem. And then, I mean, Jump Off could be really nice to get Tailwind off, but I might want to go for Chen Power just for the extra damage. I could bring Chi here, but uh, it feels hard. I do like Chi here, but it can get pressured really hard by their Fighter Man with Choice Specs, so I'm actually just going to go in for Chen Power. Okay, cool. I'm going to make the play I said I would. Though now, actually, when I think about it, it's unlikely that they don't just, like, ice spin of this. So it feels like my Flutter Man is pretty safe. I could just go Terra Water. And he could aerialize me also. So I could go, like, Terra Water plus Rock Slide and Dazzling Gleam. It feels pretty safe. Um, 
there is one thing that they could do, which is sucker punch me and also um, go for the aqua jet, which means maybe I want to go into Torkoal to get around that. Torkoal can also take a lot of their hits and give me the attack boost onto my Great Tusk, which is quite nice. I don't have Protect, so I can't really scout out what they're going to do, but does my Fighter Man feel safe here is the thing. He does have Icicle Crash, so he, it feels likely he's probably going to go into the Fighter Main. So I'm going to switch into the Torkoal here, get the attack boost and Terror. Okay, nice, 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 nice. So he, yeah, okay. He definitely tried to carry my Fighter Main there, but the Torkoal took it super well. And now we're in a good, super duper good position where we can just go for Rock Slide and Protect, and he actually can't carry any of my Pokemon, and I get a double KO on him. Or we force him to switch. Now, that's another play I'm thinking about. In this position, do we force him to switch and then try to like reposition with these two in the back? If so, is it better for us just to go Earthquake plus Protect and then read into something like uh, Iron Hands, a Moomus, or an Urshifu switching in? I don't think it's that risky just going for an Earthquake here. Um, there's no point for him to Aqua Jet, so it's highly likely for him to switch. Um, so I'm down to just Earthquake and Protect. Okay. No, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to Rock Slide. I think he's scared to switch now that we went for Earthquake. Uh, he might... I think getting into Champau is pretty safe. He does have Sacred Sword, which he could go for, which is kind of risky. Though, at the same time, I think maybe even switching into Fighter Main my, uh, myself could be good. I'd, it feels super unlikely for him to Ice School Crash my slot. Okay, cool, and we pick up the double. Cool. And now, oh, he should have Fighter Main in the back, but we know that Fighter Main can't one-shot our great task, which is nice. Um, he can one-shot our Fighter Main, though. I do have Champau on the back, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, he's boosted speed twice back. So okay, okay, okay. He's almost forced to just try and KO our Fighter Man, which means we can pretty much safely headlong rush the Fighter Man. Though he is Terra Grass, which means it feels a bit risky. I don't know if you ever go for Terra Water here. I feel like it's always going to be Terra Grass trying to stop me from ever doing that. I could always protect. I could switch into the Torkoal. I think Torkoal is pretty much dead weight at this point. So I'm pretty comfortable just going for protect here. I don't... Though you probably just energy ball this and go for Surging Strikes, I'd say. So maybe it's better just to go for Dazzling Gleam. I think, I think I'm going to Dazzling Gleam here. I'm going to Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, okay. So it goes for that. Do get the Dazzling Gleam off, does a bunch of damage, and he gets into the he gets Search Strikes off, okay, okay. Uh, we can always actually go for a safe Sucker Punch into the Fighter Main, and then we can just go for a Yawn or an OP. I think Yawn is a bit safer, and then we just go, oh, no, 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 oh, oh. actually, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I misclicked there, but luckily he Terry Watered, so it didn't really matter. Now I can just go... Um, Headlong Rush plus Sucker Punch to the Flutter Main, and yeah, we go. Cool. So, not a bad first game to show. Also, I have a thing called Show Decks. Um, you can get this as an extension on Google Chrome, and what it does it just, is it automatically calcs for every single Pokemon. So, already from the start of the game, let's just say I go overheat here, I can look at it and then see how much damage it will do to Flutter Main. Um, it's a lot... Though sometimes it doesn't have like sometimes you put, have to put a few things in like sun. So now that we have sun up, we can see that actually it does like a bunch of damage. And you can also change the HP and the special defense. So a lot of people are running like a hundred right now. So if it is a hundred, it's honestly not doing too much. But it's very very helpful to have a very quick calculator on the run to look at. And also this is one of the teams that I said we could definitely beat. I did say I wanted to get um, Tailwind up. But Chimpel is also really nice here, I think, just to get rid of the Tornadus, and Fighter Man's also pretty good. Uh, I just want to look into what he has here. Okay, he's going for the Surge and Strikes Aqua Jet. Does he have Rain Dance? Because if he has Rain Dance, oh, he does have Rain Dance on his Tornadus, okay. That kind of makes the matchup a bit different. 
Um, I kind of want to just KO his Tornadus now, so he's definitely going to lead Tornadus, and then it's highly likely he's just going to bring his Urshifu. Um, I mean, for that reason, it feels pretty safe to just, like, bring Jumpluff, and then, like, have Torkoal in the back, but, uh, it's kind of risky. I think I could do, uh, yeah, i just go this. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I can just protect here, and I could sleep out of, I could get Tailwind up. I think maybe Tailwind might be a little bit better, because I don't know if I am faster, and he also could try and just one-shot um, our jump off. So he could go, like, fake out into Chen Pao, Try and watch out jump off, one shot off jump off. I could go into Torkoal here. I think that's probably the best play. And put the Fatame into sleep. I think that's also a good play. I think I might try and do that. Now, it's 75% accurate, which, like, is the only downside about this team. It's not everything is super accurate. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we miss, we miss, we miss. No, no, that sucks. That sucks. Um... That makes everything a bit worse, because if we don't miss, then, like, Torkoal has no damage on it. And now he can just go for, like, Rain Dance and outspeed us. Oh, that super duper duper sucks, yeah. I mean, it, it can't KO us if he does go for Rain Dance, which is nice. But it feels bad. It definitely feels bad. I could go for Yawn and then force a switch, KO Tornadus with Ice Bin, a Terror, the Great Tusk. But uh, am I, am I think it's my better to be to overheat. And then I think I just try to match his speed with Tailwind. Oh, but he can go for. Oh, I see, I see. That sucks so bad. Um. It does. It looks. It's looking pretty dire for us. I think I have to go, ice spinner into the tornadoes and just like, headlong rush the flutter main. Tailwind. That's half a k. Yikes. Yeah. The only reason we lost like. It might look like a bad rep for the team to, to say I was going to win this and then lose. But the problem was we just missed Sleep Powder. If we don't miss Sleep Powder here, we always get the Torkoal in for free. We can go for, like, Overheat, Eject Pack. We can always, like, Sleep Powder, the Tornado, so we'll get, like, a free switch into Chen Pao. We can just Ice Bit of the Chen Pao, and it's just a lot, lot easier. But, yeah, now... Now it's pretty much impossible for us to win. So, yeah, GG. Yeah. I'll do one more game with this. One more game. But yeah, no, honestly, if you do, since it's, if it's like a best of three, for example, um, our teams, this seems really good in the best of three because in a best of three, like, it's annoying to miss the sleep powder, but you always have the next game to hit the sleep powder. So, like, maybe it's not the best for best of one, but it's extremely, extremely good in best of three. So, like, if you're watching this and you are planning to go to Pittsburgh, definitely try this team out before you go. And hopefully, if you bring it, hopefully you can win. I do, I do think if you play well this team, you can definitely, definitely win. Um, Chen Pao is really nice. So is Great Tusk. I want to get Tailwind off with my Jump off. I'm going to accept open team sheets to see what he has. Um, like, get this in the back, like Tailwind. Have this. And I could go for Great Tusk. Terra Water would be alright, but I'm pretty scared of Bramblegast. I could also go for Chi Yu and get so much damage down. If I go like Terra Ice, I can one shot the Flutter Main and have Chi Yu. Honestly, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. One thing I do have to note is that um, Bramblegast um, is immune to Heat Wave, which is kind of annoying. Okay, but he does just go for Flutter Main. I think I might want to get Jet Pack out into. Oh, I mean, Overheat does one shot the tornadoes so if i do go for like overheat into the tornadoes i can jetpack into chen pao or do i want to get my the flutter main into suck punch range i think i might want to get the suck um the flutter main to suck punch range and then 
scarf of Tailwind. Um, even if it does carry me, I, it is in Sucker Punch range, and she can watch all the Tornadoes. So I'm not too fast. Okay. Just goes for that. Okay. We get the overheat off. We get a free switch. Um, now the Fighter Main's in Sucker Punch range. We might be able to force a switch here and then just be able to Ice Spin or the Tornadoes. Though, uh, I feel like that's a bit risky not going for a Sucker Punch and just Ice Spinner in. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. If I go for Ice Spinner here, it's always KOs and then we can go for like a Leaf Storm into the Fighter Main to cover anything coming in. Which I don't think is too bad. Or do I want to like ice spinner and then switch to like reset taunt? Oh, honestly, I don't mind just going for leaf storm. I think it's fine. Yeah, and we do we do catch a switch. Nice. Okay, ice spinner actually doesn't care, which is a bit weird. Though we know that um, even after tailwind. Our jump off will be outspeeding everything, which is nice. Um, I want to get a Sacred Sword onto the Chiyu, which I know will KO, and then I can get a Sucker Punch off into the Flutter Main. So maybe I go like Sacred Sword. I could, well, it's like, who do I want to tarot here? Um, well, I mean, Chen Pao's not bad to terror, but I don't really need to terror it. I, if I, I could just keep my jump off alive by going for a terror water. I don't need to terror ghost this ever. I don't need to terror grasses ever. So terror water is definitely the best. Yep, yeah, see so it always outspeeds. And then heat wave. As long as we don't get burnt here, we should be fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, now we KO. Um, does he have Bram Ghast? Okay, he does have Bram Ghast, that's really interesting. Um, it's interesting because he can now go for Shadow Sneak into my Chen Pao and no longer can I actually KO the Flutter Main, which is a little bit annoying. And if he's Focus Sash, my Chi has to get two hits into the Bram Ghast. I mean, that's not too bad. I think what I do is I stall out their Tailwind, um, like just double sack, then double protect, go for Sucker Punch onto their Fighter Main, Dark Pulse once, Dark Pulse again, and then we should win. It just depends. If he has Protect on his Fighter Main, it's a lot weirder. I'd hope he's Choice Specs. I'm going to just say he is Choice Specs here. And I'm going to just go for Sleep Powder onto the Fighter Main. Okay. Okay. Now we just go for double protect. Oh, we okay. okay. We've got the double protect. We don't miss click. We. Um. Shadow seek. Yeah, shadow seek could pick up. I don't think. Phantom force. Like if you go into Chiyu, Phantom force. Like in power whip. Look at power. Like that's so much damage. That is insane. How much damage that does. Oh my gosh. So at plus one power whip one shots the Chiyu. Look, that is insane, that's insane, that's insane, that's insane. Uh, I, I do think I win though, because I should always get two... Should, oh, I should always get um, two Dark Pulses off. I think the main reason that it one-shots is because we have the Chen Pao. Though, if he doesn't carry the Chen Pao this turn, we always win. So I'm happy just to go for Dark Pulse into the Chiyu and the Bramagast. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, um, how much does it do now? Okay, yeah, yeah. It does a lot less, you can see. Um, yeah, we won. Nice, 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 nice. It was a close game. I'm actually winning, willing to do one more. But yeah, this is like, this just shows how good Strodex is. I can kind of know what I need to do, what like the chances of me losing and winning are just by like looking at the calculators. And yeah, it's, it's quite nice. I'll actually put the link in the description for what it is. And I'll put my Pokepace also down in the description. Alright, <laughs> very interesting team. I mean, the thing is, honestly, Lad is a really good practice because I went to Worlds, actually, and 
I didn't do too bad and do too well. I just went even. I went 3-3 and then I just dropped. But it's it's not too bad. It, like, it was, when I versed at Worlds, it was like a lot of interesting teams. Everything I thought I had a really good matchup into, like that I, pre- really pre- I prepared for all the sand teams super hard and I had a really good matchup into all of them. But the thing was, I just played really weird stuff like Grimstar. I played like against Arcanine and none of them I really had a great matchup into. I even played against like Tin Lu with like Cresselia. And that was really bad. But that what, t- what um, Lado can do is like just get you used to playing against anything. And that's really what you need for a tournament with many, many rounds. And especially like Pittsburgh, that will have like 14 rounds-ish if you get all the way. And then like plus um, all the rounds of Top Cup. So you pretty much are playing 20 rounds. You're going to face some weird teams there. So it's pro- honestly good to see how this team does against sand stuff and also stuff that isn't so popular. Oh, I think Cracktail is honestly broken here, especially in some because then like this can't do it in damage to us. Um, the other thing is probably Champ House really good, or do I go for like massive damage with these two? Uh, I'm gonna bring Chi Yu just to carry them. I think. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, <laughs> the funny thing is, I I want to sleep out. I really want to sleep out of the Torkoal and just go for like overheat into the Thunderous, or I want to like sleep out of the thunderous and just go overheat but it feels bad because i can just miss and if i miss it yeah i can lose the game and i don't want to really lose the game like it's a 25 percent chance most of the time you're going to be hitting your sleep powers so in a best of three it's always like safe to click thunderous i'm going to do it now and just show you and yeah like now that i hit it like what is he going to do he can't do anything um i can go for like tailwind get tailwind off and then great task and sleep in the back. Don't mind that. I overheat. When I overheat, it actually switches into the great task. Um, the other thing is he can go for his sweet arcanine. But if he does go into his sweet arcanine, which he does. Or, I mean, it's interesting. I was going to say I can go into great task. Though, it kind of, it feels very risky doing that. I know he does have protect though. So, I don't think Dazzling Gleam will actually do too much damage. Like, the AV Crate Task, our AV Crate Task cat has, like, so much bulk. And if anything, uh, yeah, it's honestly less risky going into Crate Task than it would be. It's, like, not. Because I don't think a Dazzling Gleam should do much at all. Yeah, look at look at how little damage that does. That is insane. Okay. Now I can just go for, like, Headlong um, Earthquake, I mean. I could go for Terra Water just to be safe, unless I want to Terra something else in the back. Talk about Terra Grass, honestly, is pretty good. Oh, yeah, I don't really want to Terra my Great Task, if I have to be honest. I'd rather just go, like, this Sleep Powder, one of these two. He's already Terra, so this is going to die. Yeah, so Sleep Powder into the Fighter Mains are really, really safe. Earthquake should just pick up the Arcanine. Yeah. And now, like, Rock Slide can just beat the... Thunderous. He also has um he has Chempel, which is interesting. Though I can just go Earthquake plus Leaf Storm, which I know the Calx it does pick up. You can also see them here. So Leaf Storm will do about if I go to this, it will do for, uh, nearly fifty percent, which is really nice. And then Earthquake does about sixty to seventy. So as long as I hit my moves, I should be fine. I could go actually since the fodder main just protected, it might be safer just to sleep powder it. Uh. Because he probably might protect his champ out. It's, it's highly likely he actually does. So I'm just going to go for sleep powders. Okay, cool. Alright, now I get into my chi. And I can just sleep him. Yeah, now we just get chi in. His thunderous is asleep. Um, it shouldn't wake up. Even so, it doesn't really matter. I can always just go for a rock slide. I can tear a water here, which is always safe, and just go for like rock slide. I might just want to rock slide anyway. It will always go. He has to protect his champ out here. I can just go for dark pulse. Okay, he does get the turn on wake up, which is kind of annoying. But now I can just go for like tear water. I mean, he could wild bolt storm. But I can just go, uh. Like, oh, I'd be. What is if he tear up waters? That'd be weird. 
Or do I go for a terrible rock slide? Yeah, I'll do this. I'll do this. It might be a bit risky, but I, I think I can pull it off. Oh, that one shot. Okay. No, you guys were terrible last year, right? Now rock slide hit. Okay, cool. Now what I can do is just yawn it. Headland rush. And you shouldn't be able to carry both of my Pokemon, I'd say. With Wild Bolt. Nice, nice protect. And we can see that overheat does actually carry the thunderous as long as we hit. Yeah, cool. Alright, GG's. Um, that was the team. We got to 1600 today, not too bad. Um, if you want to go to Pittsburgh, definitely try this team. It's really, 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 really strong into the format right now. You will have to play with Sleep Powder, and if it does miss, it can be annoying. But in the best of three, it will usually hit. And if you miss the first game, like, yes, it's annoying that you lose the first game just because it misses, but the next game you usually will hit. Um, but yeah, it's a really consistent team. Great Task Assault Vest is broken as. Um, this is just so much damage. Worry Seed is super cool. I sadly didn't get to show the tech, but it's a really good tech when you do have, let's just say, a Chiu jump off on the field or a Torkoal jump off on the field that you force the Terra Grass onto the Heatran and then you should just go for Worry Seed. Um, yeah, that's the team. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be trying to post a lot more videos like sooner and more regularly. Uh, sorry, I had like a three-month break to prep for Worlds, but yeah. Uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye.